you're on the PTR server right now. So this promotion section we have is the curtain up event. I'm going to give you all the details on this curtain up. What is the best strategy for free to play and what you want to do, what you don't want to do. Um, yeah. So first off, the cycle is going to be Feng Shun. He's going to be up for seven days. The next cycle is going to be Ethan, also for seven days. And then the last seven days is going to be Jin Chu. Every day you log in, you get this daily rewards, which will give you three of this invitation letter. And you will use the invitation letter to summon for a specific keepsake for that specific Esper. So for example, if I were to summon right now, this is the PTR server, so I don't really care. There we go. Uh, my first one, I got keepsake already. That's cool. So I got a keepsake, but this is only for Feng Shun. And then when the timer runs out and it cycles to Ethan, this keepsake right here will be useless. It doesn't transform into anything. It just gets removed from your account. And then when you enter Ethan's cycle, your keepsake on Feng Shun resets. So you basically got nothing, right? For example, if you spend all of your tickets right now on Feng Shun and you get only seven of his keepsakes and then Ethan's rotation rolls in, all seven of your keepsakes are useless. You used all of your inv invitation letter for nothing. You don't want to summon for Feng Shun and for Ethan. I'll show you the rates real quick after this. It's really terrible for you to get at least one copy of them. You can get a maximum of three copies um, of them. So even if you will, you can only get three copies of Feng Shun or Ethan or Jin Chiu, right? The race to get the keepsake is again the same, 4% and the PT is also 25 now let me just show you the rates that you are going to get shit on. <laughs> so the keepsake rate right here is 4% as stated in the game. But the true keepsake rate is actually 0. Uh, 0.0635. The way I got this number is I take 1 divided by long run average draws per keepsake. So what this means is that every 15.75 summons you get on average in the long run 1 keepsake. So the rate for one keepsake is uh, one divided by uh, this right here. Now, how I got this value right here, 15.75, I, I just copied uh, Daddy Free to Play's uh, old video right here, 10 months ago. It is on uh, this video right here, whether you can get uh, Yamato R0 or not. So the exact same rates, Yamato's keepsake is also at 4%. The PT is also 25%. And then I basically just take it from this one, right? Average draws per keepsake is 15.75. Because if I'm being honest with you, I don't know how to calculate probability when PT is involved. So I just copied Daddy Free to Play's um, long run average draws per keepsake right here. And yeah, that's the story behind that. Now this one, average draws per Esper, means that how many average you, how many pulls on average you need to get at least one uh, copy of the Esper, right? So this value right here is just the long run average draws per keepsake times 8 because you need 8 of those keepsakes for you to draw 1 Esper, right? And then this part right here for you to get 1 copy of Esper with the worst possible RNG which is you basically hitting PT every single time you would need 200 summons and then the best possible RNG which statistically pretty much impossible is 8 summons so every single you do you get a keepsake, keepsake right? And also I forgot to mention the total amount of invitation uh, that you can get from the event is 63 because every day you log in you get 3 so 21 days on the event times 3 you get 63 summons now I'm going to show you what are the chances for you to get one copy of Feng Shun or Ethan or Jin Chu and even two or three copies of them right so we'll go to Feng Shun first now let me explain real quick on this one the keepsake rate again is the same for all of the espers uh, this one true keepsake rate also stays the same the total amount of draws that you can get free to play, forgot to mention this one, free to play is only 21 for Feng Shun because it's 7 days times 3, you only get 21 summons. So what we're going to find is the probability of you getting at least 8 keepsake because for you to pull one copy of Feng Shun, you need at least 8 keepsake, right? This value right here, um, there's no equation because for you to calculate like probability and you're not a programmer, you are gonna bust your brains out. So I instead used a uh, this website right here. It basically calculates everything to the T. So what I do is I just take the rate of the keepsake, which is 6.35%. Uh, 
or 0 0.0635 and then the number of trials is the number of pools that I get for that specific Esper. So for Feng Shun, free to play, you can only get a maximum of 21, right? If you wait all seven days and then you, you summon on the last day on Feng Shun's uh, banner, you only get 21 summons total. And then the number of success is going to be eight because you need a minimum of eight keepsake for you to pull at least one copy of Feng Shun. Now we click calculate. The one that we're gonna look for is this right here. Cumulative probability when probability of X or keepsake is at least 8. You need to pull at least 8 for you to pull one copy of Feng Shun. And the probability is, as you can see, it's very low. 0 0.00002. So it's a zero, it's not even 1%, not even close to 1%. And if you go to trying to pull two copies of Feng Shun, now you need 16 keepsakes. We change the values right here. 16. And this website just shows you that the probability of that even happening is pretty much 0%. And if you're trying to pull three copies, the website, oh, uh, three copies is actually 24 keepsake, it will just show you an error because it's impossible for you to pull three copies of Feng Shun within just 21 summons, right? You need 24 keepsakes, but you only have 21 summons, which means it's impossible uh, for you to get at least three. So. Keep in mind, if you want to go for Feng Shun, this is the rate you are looking for. <laughs> it's, I think it's worse than Shimmer. Again, this is only for free to play. You only get 21 summons as a free to play, so the rate is extremely low. Now we go to Ethan, same thing. Keepsake rate and true keepsake rate is the same. So we're only going to be looking at the true keepsake rate because this one is already consolidated with the PT system. And then this time around for Ethan, because you have 14 days to store up your invitation letters, you actually get 42 of the invitation letters, right? Again, same thing. We're going to find the probability of getting keepsake at least 8. Now, the, now the rates look pretty decent. It's also still not the best. It's not even 1% um, with 14 days of summons, right? Not even 1% for you to get a copy of Ethan. One copy of Ethan. It's 0.445%. And yeah, let me just show you. For Ethan, the number of trials will change it to 42. And then to get at least one Ethan, you need to pull eight keepsakes. We'll take a look at the values right here. Again, same, 0 0.00445. And for you to get two copies, again, the website just shows you 0% because it's almost just impossible. You need the stars to align for you to pull at least 16 keepsakes within just 42 summons. And then lastly, we'll go to Jinshu. For Jinshu, you have a total of 21 days, the whole length of the event for you to save up your invitation letters and then use everything on him, which means you have all 63 summons on him, right? And you'll see that the odds of, of pulling at least one copy of Jinshu free to play is now over four, uh, 1%. So we have 4.536, 63 summons, and the odds of pulling at least 8 keepsakes, 0.045 or 4.5%. And again, for you to pull at least 2 copies of Jinchu, the odds are pretty much 0% and 3 is also almost 0%. So if you take a look at the values right here, all the way from Feng Shun, Feng Shun has 0.02%, Ethan has 0.45%, and then lastly Jinchu, at 4.5%. So the most obvious strategy for a free-to-play player is to save up all of your invitation letters and spend it all on Jinchu. You do not want to spend it on Feng Shun because if you uh, spend it on Feng Shun, the odds of you getting him is 0.002%. If you don't get him, all of the keepsakes that you pulled for him are gonna be useless, right? So do not do it. Unless you are a paying player, you can, you know, buy the invitation letter box or packs to get yourself uh, your Jinshu, then do it. Uh, but if you are free to play, strictly free to play, you want to skip both uh, Feng Shun and Ethan and then go straight for Jinshu. Even if Jinshu is not the best in this pool, um, I think Feng Shun is the best out of the three, you still do not want to go for Feng Shun because the odds of you pulling him is just almost zero, right? And the odds of you pulling at least one Jinshu is the highest among the three. 
because they put him in the last cycle. Again, let me reiterate, if you are free to play, skip Feng Shun, skip Ethan, do not waste any, do not waste a single invitation letter on them because you are just wasting them to get basically nothing. When you get keepsakes for an Esper that you cannot complete, they will be completely useless. So right here, when the next round begins, the previous Esper's keepsakes will be cleared. So if you can't finish it, all of your keepsakes are going to be useless. So it's best to just save everything and then just go for Jin Chu. Yeah, this event is not the greatest. I thought it was going to give us at least one copy of free Jin Chu. But looking at this, the only way that you can get this invitation letter is from the daily rewards. There's no missions or anything and it just caps out at 63 right for free to play players so 96% of you will not get the free Jinchu only if a lucky few lucky 4% of you will get the free Jinchu so yeah not the greatest event but it is free rewards nonetheless you kinda the, some of the rewards are nice like go records if you do pull them some of these fragments as well it's just you know not the best I think they're just trying to grab some cash from paying players because if you already reach like 63, you are on average going to get 4 of the keepsakes on Jin Chu, and then you would need like to spend um, some money to get at least like another 63 of the summons to maybe get yourself a Jin Chu. Again, the long run average, you would need around 126 summons for you to at least get one copy of the Esper you want, right? And yeah, that's about it. Not the greatest event. Lilith did not cook with this one. That's about it. Ciao.